everyone, so today I'm here with a little bit of a different video and I wanted to kind of do a single girl single girl's guide to Valentine's Day because I know that it can be one of those kind of holidays that makes you feel a little bit bad and society can kind of make you feel a little bit bad if you're single and I know that I'm not single but I just kind of always look at it from that perspective as well and I thought that you know just because you're not with someone doesn't mean that you can't kind of enjoy Valentine's Day as well. So depending on um, your personal situation, I just kind of want to put it out there before I get into the kind of beauty aspect of this video, that, you know, being single, there's nothing wrong with that. And as amazing as men are, they can also be so infuriating. And you will meet someone when the time is right and you will be, you know, very happy. And when you are coupled up, then all people are going to ask you is, when are you getting married? When are you going to have a baby? That kind of thing. People always kind of are trying to push you into the next step before you're ready for it. So as hard as it is, just try and ignore that because I know it can be really difficult and it makes you feel bad. It makes you feel like there's kind of something wrong with you and it's just ridiculous to let people make you feel like that. So... What um, plans have you got this Valentine's Day? Now, when I was single, I used to usually do something with my girlfriends. We'd normally go out to dinner and go out to the movies or something like that, and it was always really fun. And then I also really like a good pamper night just to myself because that's kind of my me time. I do have a boyfriend. Um, we have been together for like six and a half years now, and um, I had to think a minute then. <laughs> it's been that long. But I definitely like, you know, have regular pamper nights, lock the bathroom door and it's just me time. So I'm going to talk you through a little bit of tips and things like that. But um, if you are going out, you can do some of these things before you go out just to kind of give yourself a little, bit, a little bit of a boost. You might think this sounds really superficial, but obviously this is a beauty channel. I love beauty and it is what makes me feel kind of happy. But you know, if anything that makes you feel happy, I don't know, playing the Xbox, whatever it may be, this is just what makes me happy. So, first things first, I wanted to talk about the fact that you can definitely rock a red lip, and I know it's kind of a very Valentine's Day cliche, but in reality, nobody tends to wear a red lipstick on Valentine's Day, because if you're kind of kissing and that, it smudges. But it looks so pretty, and you can totally kind of cheer yourself up with wearing a red lip, I always think. This is my favourite at the moment. It's the Bourgeois um, Rouge Edition Velvet in um, Hot Pepper. Really pretty, vibrant red shade. So if you are going to work that day, or going out, pop a red lip on. It's Valentine's Day appropriate, and it's, you're doing it just for you, and it's really fun, I think. But if you do want to kind of give yourself a little bit of an anti-Valentine's Day type of thing, Starting with a mani-pedi might be a cute idea. So whereas I like to kind of um, keep in theme with Valentine's Day and do reds and pinks and that, just because I like themed things, I like that Christmas as well. The kind of anti-Valentine's Day options I've picked here for you that I love, these two blue ones, and they are by Essie. This is No More Film, and this is Blue Rhapsody. I always want to call this Bohemian Rhapsody. But these are great options. Good toe colour, good hand colour. Really, really pretty and you can just kind of still make yourself feel nice and girly and like you've got lovely nails without going for the kind of cliched red. Then, if you're having a pamper night. My pamper nights are quite scheduled. They happen on a Wednesday and a Saturday. Occasionally I'll move them. Um, but my mum always says that I'm like, Sheldon from Big Bang Theory because I like things to be so structured but um, they have to be right the right kind of setting for it so I will save YouTube videos this sounds really pathetic but it's the truth I will save YouTube videos that are longer that I want to watch usually nine times out of ten they're Lisa Lisa D ones videos because she makes about half an hour videos because that means I don't have to get up out of the bath to change it so that's very important. If you like to read a magazine or that kind of thing, then now's a good time to kind of bust out whatever magazine you're reading. My favourite personally happens to be Glamour, but um, I don't like reading magazines in the bath because I always get it wet. But start filling your bath, and these are really, really great. This range from the Body Shops, the Smoky Poppy range, and these are the bath bombs. And I used one of these last night. They're really cool. They kind of fizzle, and they make your water really milky. And they've got bits of kind of poppy seed inside them, so you kind of get it in the bath. It is a little bit messy, though, but it smells really, really nice. So do that. And then once you're in the bath, giving yourself a kind of mini facial, I think, is really, really fun and pampering. So... Starting off using a cream cleanser is what I like to do. This is the Sanctuary Polishing Hot Cloth Cleanser. I'll put this on my hands. It's 
smooth it all over, rinse it off with a muslin cloth and it's just kind of a bit more of a luxurious cleanse than your everyday cleanse. And then I will go in with an exfoliator. Now I've got two here, a manual one and a not manual. <laughs> and a not manual one, I'm so articulate. Um, this is the Monu Micro Exfoliant. This one's got small grains in it, but it's not harsh. It just really brightens up the skin. And then the Sanctuary Leave-On Exfoliating Cream. I'm not being sponsored by the Sanctuary. I just really like their products for kind of pampering sessions. And you pop this all over the skin. It's got a little pump and it just helps to kind of rejuvenate everything. And then for face masks, I have been using this one a lot recently and it's the Lush mask of Magnum Inti. This is really nice if you have got problem skin. I haven't, I just like it. Um, and then if you want something moisturising, the N-Spa Replenishing Moisture Mask. Or if you're really out there, and this is what I do sometimes, use this one first and then use this one and your skin will feel so balanced and clean. It's kind of, this is what to do if you've got, you know, a lot of time in your hands in the bath, but I like it. And then for kind of moisturising your face after you get out, these are my favourite. And I love using an oil on my face. I don't use it every week, but kind of twice a week on pamper nights, I definitely do. And this is a really luxurious one. Use your nice products. You know, you're kind of here to make yourself feel special. You don't need someone else to make yourself feel special. And this is the Aromatherapy Associates one. You can see I've used a little, quite a bit of this already. Couple of pumps, massage, give your face a really lovely massage and it'll be amazing. And then for moisturising all over, I'll let that sink in and then I pop a moisturiser on just because I really like to pamper my skin. If that's enough for you, then you don't need to bother. But the Organic Surge Blissful Daily Moisturiser, this is a great night cream if you've got oily skin. And then the eye cream I've been using is by the brand of this, is really random, La Provence, I think and it's the contour deluxe eye cream it's such a giant um, tub for eye cream but a little bit of this under the eyes and your skin will feel amazing in the morning then once you get out I've got a couple of fun options here for you the first two are from the body shop if you just kind of plan on staying in put, putting your comfy PJs on and just relaxing um, these are great, but they're great if you want to go out as well because the scent's really lovely. The Smoky Poppy Body Butter and the Smoky Poppy Massage Oil. These are all kind of new additions to the body shop and they smell amazing. I've been using the body butter <laughs> kind of most evenings and it just smells so nice. And the matching perfume of that is really lovely as well, actually. I've got that here. Oh, sorry, no, it's not the matching perfume. This is the Red Musk. I thought it was the matching perfume because the packaging looks quite similar, but this is really lovely as well. So I'll pop on a little bit of this for you. And then you kind of will feel really lovely. I always feel that scent makes you feel so much more kind of vibrant and sexy. I just, I'm obsessed with perfume, you know that. So if you're going out, they're really lovely options as well. But if you're definitely staying in, then doing a little bit of tanning, I think is fun because then you'll wake up in the morning and you'll just feel kind of really golden and glowy and amazing. My favourite's the Coco Brown Tan at the moment. I love this, you know, I have loved this for a very long time. And um, you only need to leave it on for three hours, so you can kind of just pop it on. Leave it for a little bit <coughs> to get the maximum colour three hours. You could only leave it on for an hour if you wanted to. Rinse it off and you'll look really glowy. And then the question comes, what do you do? So if you're on your own and you're not planning on going out, then get yourself something really nice to eat. I personally would propose takeout because having to cook for yourself can be a little bit depressing. Um, so get takeout or even if you just get a ready meal, some of them are really nice. The Marks and Spencer's butternut squash lasagna is my absolute favorite. I kind of don't buy it very often because it's very delicious and fattening, but that's very, very good. And then decide what you're gonna do. Maybe you wanna do some reading. Maybe you want to watch a movie. Watching movies is always really fun. Don't pick kind of something that's like an obvious Valentine's Day choice, like rom-coms and that kind of thing, which to be honest, don't tend to be my type of film anyway. Um, I like quite serious films. We always joke that I like films about missing people. <laughs> it's kind of my slightly morbid side. But pick a really nice film to watch. You know, it doesn't have to be something um, completely unromantic. You know, it can be still something like my all-time favourites, Breakfast at Tiffany's and Dirty Dancing. They're my two all-time favourite films. But they're not kind of a classic rom-com. Dirty Dancing is kind of a very girly film, I suppose. But they're great options if you do want to kind of have a little bit of romance. But if not, then watch something, you know, like 
crime drama that kind of thing they're the ones I tend to like or if you like horrors that might be fun just to kind of do something a little bit different and don't let yourself feel depressed and don't let yourself feel like you know you're miserable because you haven't got a boyfriend because who cares it's not the end of the world at all you're still amazing and you still have an amazing life and when it's time then it will be time and you don't have to kind of stress over it and if you are going out with your girlfriends and have a really really fun night go and do something fun go out to dinner get dressed up and just have a great time you don't kind of need a guy in your life to make you feel good you can do that all by yourself so I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was something a little bit different, but it was just something I felt like I wanted to put out there. Let me know what you'll be doing this Valentine's Day if you are single. I know a lot of people are always like, oh, I'm gonna go and cry in the corner. Don't go and cry in the corner. There's nothing wrong. It's, you know, it's just, a, it's not even a proper holiday. So it's not something that kind of you really need to worry about at all. And like I said, once you do have a boyfriend, then you'll start worrying about other things anyway. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you next time. Bye.